to the stars, now he talking solar And I feel like Chris Paul with the floater Ain't believe I had the song Hey, what's going on, you guys? You guys already know what's today. It's Friday Night Smackdown. What's going on, you guys? It's your boy here, CR21, with another video. It's Smackdown tonight. So you know what we're going to do. We're going to be doing some Friday Night Smackdown predictions for April 24th, 2020. So let's get into it. We're going to start off qualifying matches tonight. Drew Gulak versus King Corbin. Personally, I don't mind whoever wins this match. But it's obvious King Corbin should get the win. Hey, Unless Elias interferes and helps Drew Gulak win. Oh. So, I'm, I'm actually... You know what? I'm going to go with Drew Gulak for the fact that I think Elias is going to cost Corbin the match. For like, you know... Because Corbin, like, you're going to try to build up a virus. You know, they're building it up again. So, that's what's going to happen. Then we got Lacey Evans versus Shasha Banks. Uh, my opinion, this match could also go either way. Shasha really needs this win. Lacey Evans, too. But, you know what? I'm going to go with Lacey Evans on this one. Yeah. I'm going to go with Lacey Evans. Um, Yeah. And then we have the women's tag team titles being defended. With the champ, Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss. Put it on, on the line on the debut of Carmella and Dana Brooke. My opinion... I think Carmella and Dana Brooke are going to win. Because they have been doing nothing. Dana Brooke hasn't won a title. Carmella hasn't done nothing in a while. So, I think they really will give them the titles. Yeah. Next, we are celebrating Triple H's 25th anniversary of WWE. So, you know, in my opinion... I, I think Triple H will be in the money in the bank. But the fact is that Miss Miss um Michael Cole has been saying for the past two weeks that the only thing Triple H has never done is compete in the money in the bank and he kept saying it. So it's giving me a clue. I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but it's giving me a clue. Considering he's never been in it. He's not if he's in it, he's not gonna win it, but he's gonna participate in it. Because he's never done it. So, I believe they should do it with him now if they're going to do it. Because Triple H ain't going to be the same for the next years, you know? So, my opinion, Triple H will be there. And for the fact that they only have one more qualifying match. Because they haven't announced the other one. So, that's my suspicion. We also have Mandy Rose from the other build thing going on tonight. Um, Hopefully, we reveal who's a hacker. Because this is... The longest rivalry they have going on right now in WWE. The best rivalry going on. And also we're going to see what's going to happen. What else build up they're going to do to the Braun Strowman. Bray Wyatt match. That's going to end up in a DQ. Because it's like. It's hard to pick the winner. So. Yeah and that is basically all. For your SmackDown, probably the new day will come out, but I don't. There's nothing for them, but e. Yeah, so this has been my SmackDown prediction. Yeah, Stay tuned. Check, right check, after SmackDown, check, I'll be doing my SmackDown on Fox Review. So yeah, so subscribe, check, turn on notifications, check, like the video, check, comment. Check, your boy CR21 is out. Check,